What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's going on, Next Level Insider? It's Nolly Williams, your success coach. I'm super excited uh, to be with you today. Uh, I am dedicated to your ongoing success. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And yes, I am. And that's why we decided to go ahead and start doing some Facebook lives that we're, that I'm live streaming strictly to my Next Level Insiders Club. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm enjoying a delicious smoothie. Hope you've got the beverage of your choice near you. And uh, this is, mm, that's yummy. Uh, by the way, this is a time for you and I to just sit down together and get to know each other better. Uh, it's a time for you to be able to ask your questions. Uh, but this smoothie, I'm going to tell you about, it's got banana, mango, and I uh, didn't put coconut water. Usually I put coconut water in it. It's got a little bit of chocolate plant-based protein powder and uh, uh, banana, oh, and some delicious wild blueberries. Among other things, it's got bee pollen and other stuff in there. Mm, super good. So I'm going to be hydrating and, and feeding myself while we spend time together. Uh, these Facebook lives are not designed to be short, <laughs> but they're not designed to be long either. So I just want to, uh, one of the things that, that I realize will add value to you as your success coach, you guys are paying me to coach you to your greatness, to your success. One of the things that I realize will add value to you is for me to sit down with you um, and share, share what I'm learning um, as I learn it. Now, the, and also to share with you guys some of the things that are going on in my world and also learn from you what's going on in your world. Now, if you're not watching this live, if you're just, if you're watching it in, at your convenience, and I get it because, you know, we can't all match our schedules together. Be sure to post your comments, your questions, give it thumbs up, give it some, give it some love, baby. I want to see that. Um, I'd like to know what you guys want to learn because I, I, I know a lot of stuff. I'm learning a lot of stuff every day, and I want to share with you uh, the things that are going to make you successful. Uh, let me start the timer. <laughs> Old school, baby. Let's get the timer started. We'll put that right up there. That's my hour hourglass. It is actually one hour, believe it or not, but that thing goes. So I'm going to try to keep these uh, to the to the hour if we can, but hey, I'm here for you. So as long as y'all need. All right. So I got a couple of notes of things that I want to cover. And let me get started. Also, I have some questions that you guys have posted. Remember, I asked you to go ahead and post your questions um, to the, the group. Uh, or you can email me your questions, you know, nolly at nollywilliams.com uh, or nolly at nolly.com, whatever you prefer. Uh, email me your questions and I'll, I'll get them answered on our Facebook Live. So, but here's some things I want to talk about. What's going on in my world? First of all, just got back. Uh, my wife and I just got back from Dothan, Alabama. And um, we were out there visiting my mom. She had her 71st birthday. I had a blast to visit my sister. Um, by the way, this painting right here, my sister painted this. So ho hopefully uh, you guys love it as much as I do. Beautiful painting. Uh, reminds me of me. <laughs> So we just got back from doing that, uh, had a great time. Um, it's so, it's so uh, important to spend time with family when you can. Uh, I've got a wedding that I'm headed to next week in San Antonio that I'm actually gonna be officiating with my wife. Um, my wife and I are both ordained, so we uh, can marry people <laughs> in the state of Texas. So we're gonna be uh, performing a marriage ceremony next week for our, for our niece. Um, after that, we're headed to Tampa, Siesta Key. So if you're in the Tampa, Siesta Key area, uh, shoot me a shout out. Maybe we'll get together while I'm in there because I'm going to while, while we're there because I'm going to be there for two weeks. Just goofing off, ha having fun, doing, doing the stuff I do. Um, after that, we head to Greece and the Holy Lands. So in Greece, we're actually doing a, a, a cruise of the Greek islands. Never been to Greece before. If you've been to Greece, give me your tips. Uh, never been to the Holy Land before as well. So if, you, if you've been there, give me your tips. Uh, and then after that, we're going to do Egypt. So we'll probably be gone for, we'll be gone for probably about three weeks or so on that one. 
Uh, oh, what else do I got going? Yes. I have um, an exclusive for you guys. So this is the uh, Discovering Your Divine Destiny workbook that I just finished uh, not too long ago. And here it is. So let me just show you the inside of it just a little bit. You can see that. Now, this is a proof copy of it. Um, and I've already added this book to the Next Level Insiders Club, to your Next Level Insiders Club portal. So be sure to jump in and um, download this. It's a free download. This book is not even out yet on Amazon. Um, it'll probably be out in a month or so, uh, depending on when we decide to release it. So it's just a proof copy for you guys. Um, actually, the, the, the proof copy is... Uh, Actually, this is the proof copy, but the final copy is on the Next Level Insiders Club dashboard. So this is 121 strategic questions to help you uncover your divine destiny. Now, you might already know what your divine destiny is. And if you do, that's great. Hopefully you do. A lot of people don't. If you do, that's great. Um, but what I recommend is you download it and, uh, and maybe you can help someone else discover their divine destiny with those questions. So it's, it's a great resource. Um, that I I love doing teaching destiny discovery. So, um, but that's that's going to be released in a month or so. Uh, I want to give special shout out to my boy, my buddy Lewis Brent Meyer and Artemis Kassane, Both of them, they are coaches in the Next Level Insiders Club. I'm going to explain more about that in a little bit. But you're going to start seeing them doing these Facebook lives as well. I'll be I'll be doing a Facebook live. They'll be doing Facebook lives. And so there, you've got three coaches at your disposal, and we just added another coach, Nicole, and uh, she, she does the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you ever need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, we have Quantum 10X. That's where we provide one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is group coaching, so it, but, but at Quantum 10X, we do the one-on-one -on -one coaching um, if you ever need that. Um, and also, uh, Lewis and Artemis are available if you just need a few coaching sessions. You know, we'll have packages available for you guys if you need one-on-one. -on -one. You know, a lot of times people hire me. The reason why some people have joined the Next Level Insiders Club is to augment the one-on-one -on -one coaching that they're already getting and or to, um, to supplement that. Or maybe you can't afford one-on-one -on -one coaching yet. You don't have $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So with the Next Level Insiders Club, you can get it. I mean, you can have access to me for a lot less than what it would cost to hire me, you know, one-on-one -on -one or my team of coaches. So, okay, what else do we got on the hot plate? Um, I just wanna share with you guys what's going on in my world and then I'm gonna get to the questions that you guys have asked me. Um, oh, what do, you, what do you need most help with? Um, what do you need help with the most? So make sure you let me know, hey, Nolly, I really need help with this, and I am here to help you. I guarantee I'm going to help you with that. All right. I want to talk to you guys about my buddy Jason Danziger. Uh, we just reconnected. He and I used to do business together back in 2004, back when he was a, a new loan officer. I was a new agent. And now we've reconnected. We're doing some stuff together. And he has challenged me to help him to uh, earn anywhere from 10, 15, 20,000 a month on the side. So I'm going to be helping him with that project, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys in the Insiders Club exactly what we're doing, because I really believe that you should have side income. Um, you know, I have multiple streams of income, and you should, too. So I'm going to be helping him with that and sharing with you guys what success we're getting. Oh, let me talk to you real quick. For those of you are new, that are new to the Next Level Insiders Club or just haven't uh, had the time to really look into what you're getting, let me share with you the stuff that you're getting as being a, as part of being a member of the Next Level Insiders Club. So uh, you're going to get weekly live group coaching, like what we're doing right here. Uh, so each month you're going to get at least three uh, group coaching calls with me and my success coaches. So there'll be one call with me, or we call them calls. They're really Facebook lives, live streams. Uh, one with me, one with Artemis, and one with Lewis. And uh, if that doesn't do it for you, just let us know. Uh, but that's going to get you three, you know, three coaching sessions. And we might throw a fourth one in when we can. But we've got something to announce. 
uh, coaching on demand. So I've got monthly uh, videos that I'll be cutting just for the Next Level Insiders Club to share with you guys some, some insider tips of what I've learned and what has made me successful. Um, I'm, we're going to try to help you get more leads. That's going to be a big part of what we do here. Uh, get help ASAP. So if you have any questions, when you log into the Next Level Insiders Club portal, and make sure you log in there often because we're always adding new stuff there. Uh, when you log in, um, there's going to be a, there's a phone number there. You can email us or, or phone us, call us, and we'll be happy to help. You know, uh, Noemi is the one that actually helps with that along with Lewis. They'll return your phone call and get you the questions that your questions answered. Uh, the other thing that we like to do is help you to learn at your own pace. So we're amassing a library of videos so that you don't have to feel rushed. Whatever pace you want to learn at, you can learn at your own pace by examining the library of videos uh, there on the Insiders Club. We're always adding new content to it as well. Uh, referrals, we want to get you more referrals. So anytime you have a referral, for someone out of state, out of city, be sure to post those on the Next Level Insiders Club first, you know, before you post them anywhere else. Give us a little time to, to see if we can handle it. Uh, I'm in Austin, Texas, and I know we've got members uh, all over the place. We have over 100 members right now, and we're growing. Um, not all of them are on the Facebook group live or, or on the Facebook group yet, so we're going to get them in the group. We want to get them signed up in the group. But we have over 100 uh, members that are signed up right now. Um, again, the support hotline, and then also we're going to continue to provide tools for you uh, to succeed. Oh, by the way, I'm drinking my coconut water, too. Mm. Got to stay hydrated. I used to hate coconut water. Uh, it's a, you know, some people love it, some people hate it. I used to hate it, but I love it now. It's really good. Okay, so, um, oh, the other thing I want to mention is uh, we just added 60 of my most popular videos, 60, 60, 60 of my most popular videos to the Next Level Insiders Club portal. Now, many of these videos are on Facebook. I mean, on, on uh, not Facebook, but well, some of them are on Facebook, but a lot of them are on YouTube. But the problem with YouTube is they're not, they're not uh, archived. They don't have handouts that go with them. And so now you can log in and you can, without having a, kind of comb through YouTube to find the content that you're looking for. Uh, we're adding those to just the, the most popular ones. We're adding those to uh, Next Level Insiders Club. So we have already 60 of them added. Uh, the other thing that we're going to provide for you as a Next Level Insider Club member is, you know, I love to travel. I love to teach. Um, here's some pictures of me. is I'm going to start recording my live events and, of course, making those available to you so that, you know, you'll feel like you're on the front row seat. You have a front row seat to every event that I do, and especially uh, the, the Q&A session. So, so you'll kind of have a sneak peek at those as well. Uh, what else? What else can I share with you guys? I think there's one other thing. And that's just a reminder, post your questions. If you have any questions for me, uh, one of my jobs is to, is to jump on, uh, help you, you know, I'll jump on the Facebook group to help you answer them. But if the question is really juicy, uh, I'm going to include it in one of my Facebook live posts as well. So forgive me, guys, those of you that join late, I'm just enjoying my delicious Banana mango blueberry smoothie. Oh, it's too good. I just see it here on the desk and I got to take a sip. So bear with me. Mmm. Delicious. All right. So let's get to your questions. Uh, I'm going to start with the first one from Becky Miller. By the way, if you don't want me to mention your name, when you send me a question, you don't want me to mention your name um, live like this. Just let me know, hey, don't mention my name. You know, I'll keep it, I'll keep your name out of it. But some of these people have have, uh, have given me permission to use their, their name, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, okay, so Becky Miller says, uh, Hi, Nolly and team. I've watched many of your YouTube videos and bought your book. Since I have spent many years researching and working as an assistant in the real estate industry, 
I am taking a stab at writing my own book, as you suggested, because I think it's a great idea. Now, remember, um, let me see if I've got some copies of it. Uh, let me see if I have any handy. Yeah, I think I've got some right here. Got my big stack of books behind me. Uh, so uh, some of you have already undertaken to uh, to write your own book. There is my, my buddy John Lauer wrote his book. And then uh, this Kevin and Samantha Cooper, they wrote their book there. You can see that, the best move you'll ever make. And um, Cal Carter, my buddy Cal Carter, uh, the ultimate guide to selling your home. So you guys know that I, I wrote this book for sellers. And I actually licensed the book for you, for you to use. Doesn't cost you a dime because you bring sponsors on. Um, let me see if I can show you that. So here's, for example, this is Cal Carter's book, and he's got his sponsors on the back that, of course, you know, pay for the whole thing. Anyway, the point. So this is what Becky's talking about. Um, it looks like Becky's going to undergo to write the book herself, which you can certainly do. I always tell people, you know, this book is thirteen thousand words. Uh, it took me many weeks to write it, and what ghostwriters charge is a dollar per word. So a book like that, if you hire a ghostwriter, is going to cost ten to twelve grand to write it. So I always tell people, why don't you just license mine, tweak what you want? It's in Microsoft Word, and now you've got your own book. But if you're not going to do that, and you want to write your own from scratch, you you can do that as well. Um, but it's just going to take the time to do it, right? So here's so here's Becky's question. Um, so uh, da, 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 da. I think it's a great idea. Problem is, uh oh, got a problem here. Uh, I would just be activating my license in January 2019, so I've never personally done a transaction myself. But let me see. It looks like she's been an assistant, so she's been around the industry, but she hasn't personally done a transaction. Okay, I get it. Um, what are some of the questions you'd suggest for me to put in my book to, and press package as a new agent? Okay. Old or how many years I've been in the business? Both things uh, I think are important questions to ask. Okay. That's a good question, Becky. So here's Here's what Becky's, you get the idea. Becky's saying, hey, I'm new to the business. I've never done a deal before. Uh, and, um, you know, how do, I, how do I do this? By the way, if you go to, Becky, if you go to successwithlistings.com, uh, there'll be a place on there where you can uh, click for case studies, case studies. And let me see what the URL for that is. I might just, let me, let me, um, I'll give you the exact URL. In fact, I might, let me see if I can just drop it in here. Uh, let's see. Case studies. See if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to post this URL because there's a guy named Richard Anderson who is one of the case studies here. And Richard Anderson had never done a transaction before ever in his life. I mean, he was a brand new agent when he went to my, came to my seminar. He was able to go up against six, count it, six different real estate agents for a listing, his very first listing appointment ever. And because he had a book, he won the listing appointment. You'll read about his, um, in fact, let me post, let me post the case studies thing here. There it is. So you'll read about him uh, on the case studies page. Uh, he got a $539,000 listing that he sold and he earned over $15,000 commission in his pocket just because he had the book. And so, you know, it, it's, it's a great idea that you're embarking, but don't feel afraid because you're a new agent. Don't be afraid of that at all. Now, what do you say uh, when you're brand new in the business? Okay. What I recommend people do, because you really can't talk about how many houses you've sold. You, now, when I started in, in the business, the very first thing I did when I got my business card, my title was, instead of going with realtor, instead of going with a uh, top agent, because I wasn't a top agent, 
I went with, my title was listing specialist, listing specialist. So from the very beginning, I started marketing myself as a listing specialist. And here's the cool thing. People, people never asked me how long I've been in business. Now, like, how long you've been selling houses? Now, if they do ask that, what you want to do is piggyback on your long-term experience. So when I got into real estate, I had already been in, in business for you know over a decade. I had my own marketing company. So I would tell people, hey, I've been in sales and marketing for already for over 12 years. Okay. Becky, in your case, you would say, I've been in the real estate industry for X amount of time, if you want to go there. Okay. You don't have to say that you've been a realtor for that time because you want to keep it honest. Uh, now, if you did, so, did something before, if you've done something before real estate or you had a career before real estate, as most of us have, why not piggyback on that career? Okay. You could say, hey, I've been a professional for the last X number of years. Okay. Uh, if you're really young and you don't have that, just leave it out. Now, how to get testimonials when you don't have uh, any past sales or any uh, sales, you know, you haven't done any deals. What I recommend is that you get testimonials from friends, family, anyone that, uh, kind of like personal references, if you will, and have them write them in a very generic way. Have them write them based on your character, not on your production. So, for example, it might look like, uh, like it could be two or three sentences, something like, Hey, I've known Becky Miller for, or, or, or get this, let's say it was a person that you used to work with, you know, a, a, a former, um, you know, coworker. They could say something like, hey, I've worked with Becky Miller for over three years and found her to be an absolutely, an absolute gem. She is equitable, she's fair, she's honest, and she always looks out for the best interest of others. I highly recommend Be Becky Miller. Okay, now that's a testimonial that doesn't say anything about uh, how much, you know, the, the, the business that you, how much business you've had or what you, any, any of that. So get as many friends and family members to, to write those testimonials as, as you can. And you'll have, you know, start with about three to five of them. And then that'll, that'll be some kind of fodder to begin your materials, you know, your, your marketing materials. And of course, as you start having closings, just, just video your clients that are, that are happy with your work and then take it from there. So I do recommend you get those, those testimonials in. Um, if, you if you've lived in your city for any amount of time, uh, try to get some kind of, um, you know, try to put that in there as well. Like, hey, I've lived in the area for the past decade or five years or whatever it's been. I'm very aware of the area. I've lived here. I've lived and worked in the area for seven years, whatever it is. So, uh, again, you can continue to create your materials over time. But when you first create them, that's what I recommend. That's going to be the way to go. So hopefully, Becky, um, that helped you. If, it, if you need more uh, insight on that, just be sure to email me and or email my team and I'll, I'll kind of elaborate a little more. Hopefully that helps you. All right, the next one is, uh, the next question I have is this one. And this is in response to, this is Donna. This is in response to a, um, an email that I sent out. It says, thank you for this help. I needed to hear this. Uh, I didn't have enough money to implement your program a while back, and lately I've been discouraged because I know that I'm capable of so much business. How many of you are, 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 are discouraged right now? Are you discouraged? You know, be encouraged. She says, I'm discouraged right now because I know I'm capable. Are you living up to your full potential? Are you living up to the God-given potential, what God has entrusted you with? Are you doing with it what you've been entrusted? Uh, that's the question. She says, I know uh, I'm capable of so much success. I've been in business for 17 years and ex uh, experienced times of success, but I've never had continued success. Now, kudos to you, Donna, because most people don't make it 17 years in the real estate business. Most people don't make it a year or two in this business. It's a tough business. 
So kudos to you for making it 17 years. You know, hats off to you. Um, I can understand that whole feast or famine thing. Uh, I've been thinking lately about uh, how that there is no reason I shouldn't be successful, but I realize I'm a mental, <laughs> emotional, physical mess. I've been praying, trying, but nothing seems to work. Wow. Hmm. Your, wor your words about the four areas make sense. And I see that that's the reason I'm not living up to my full potential. I just don't know how to get unstuck. Now, Donna, what I've pulled out for you, and this is something that you can download in the members area, is uh, I call it my, the next level mastery system here. Okay, so here's how, we, we talk about how to avoid feast or famine. And when you go to the Next Level Insiders Club dashboard, uh, look for the video of how to, how to avoid feast or famine. But what I'll say here is that uh, there are a great many of my coaching students that before they came to me, Donna, they were in the very same spot that you're in. And my heart goes out to you because I've been in the same spot for many, 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 many times. You know, I'm the guy that was never good at finances. I always had bills. I always had debt. Um, I allowed one of my homes to go into foreclosure. Uh, I, you know, I've made a lot of money in my lifetime, but I've wasted a lot of money, wasted a lot of time as well, making bad decisions. One of the reasons I put together the Next Level Insiders Club is because I don't want you guys to repeat the mistakes that I've made. And my culmination of 30 years of research has kind of come together and culminated into this mastery system that you're seeing right in front of you. Now, I actually did a video in the Next Level Insiders Club uh, just on this. It's an exclusive video for you guys where I talk about this. So I'm not going to re rehash it right now. But this is these are the tenants for which I coach you guys. Uh, this is this is basically when you're talking about the Next Level Insiders Club. 100 percent of what I coach is based on this system. It's mindset. Having the right mindset. So, Donna, just by creating the right mindset, you will absolutely avoid, you will create a, a mindset of prosperity because the reality is uh, abundance always exists. Let me say that again. Abundance always exists. What that means is that there is no such thing as lack. <laughs> you know, as crazy as that may sound to you right now, I just want you to consider the possibility Okay, don't 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 just carte blanche take my word for it, but consider the possibility that there is no such thing as lack. Lack is an illusion. It's something that we've created, we've made up. Um, one of the best ways that I can describe it is um, imagine a gazelle. Okay, the gazelle is out in the forest or out in the 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 wild, and let's say they run out of resources. <laughs> they run out of grass to eat. What does a gazelle do when they run out of grass to eat? Think about that for a moment. What do they do? You got it. They move on. They find greener pastures. Now, just because the grass doesn't appear to be green where you are doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you have to move on. But what you got to understand is there is always green grass out there. The gazelle will never starve. OK, um, now there may be some cases of them starving, but generally speaking, they will live out their entire life not having to worry about starvation. There's a lot of other stuff they have to worry about. Lions, tigers and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> they got to worry about some stuff. But generally, starvation is not one of them. So the gazelle's smart. He just says, man, there ain't nothing else going on here. I'm just going to move to where the abundance is. The abundance always exists. It's just that they're nimble enough and smart enough to move to the, into the flow of abundance. So in life, there are, there are, there are patterns, um, attractive patterns that we get ourselves into. And um, 
without getting too uh, philosophical, I'll just say that uh, a book that I highly recommend is um, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Let me see if I have that book here handy so I can show it to you. I may not. Uh, I may not have it on this bookshelf. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. That's the book. It's, it's not, a, it's not an, a one day read. Okay, I get that. But um, I, uh, I've listened to it on Audible. I've read, the, I've read the, uh, the hard copy a few times and I've listened, it, listened to it on Audible, uh, Audible about three times. But this is something that will help you with mindset. I have many, many, many other books that I could recommend, but I don't want to overwhelm you. But one of the reasons that we face Feast for Famine is really our mindset. It's really the way we think. And you can actually unlock the door of abundance for yourself when you start to change, it, change your mind, okay? change the way you think. So um, a lot of times we're not engaged in the, so the mindset's not right. Sometimes we're not engaged in the right activities. Remember, you should be lead generating every single day from 9 to 11 with no excuse, with no excuse. So uh, it's so important that you, th that you do that. Uh, what's up, Lewis? I see you all, buddy. Love you, man. Uh, I, you know, I can't see who else is on here. Let me see if there's a way I can see that. Uh, no, I can't see how to how to see that. But hey, I'm a novice with the Facebook Live, but that's all right. So um, activities is very, very important. So I get a lot of people that are, that are uh, a lot of coaching students that give me excuses as to why they uh, are not doing their lead generation time. And there is absolutely no, no excuse. You should never, ever take your foot off the lead generation pedal. And you, you show me an agent that's not, uh, uh, or, or anybody, because I teach agents, entrepreneurs, business leaders, business owners, coaches, trainers, doesn't matter. Uh, if you're not meeting your quota, you're not, you're not getting the success that you want. A big part of it is that you're not doing the right activities, okay? And lead generation is the number one activity of a successful person. That's the reason why I take two hours every single day to lead generate. Okay. Very, very important. And if you don't fill up the pipeline in this business, we have a pipeline. So the pipeline is what's going to create uh, that ongoing business for you. Um, in fact, um, let me just show this to you because I think this will be very helpful. Bear with me while I, while I show you this here real quick. I think this will be helpful for you guys. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah. So when you think about a pipeline, this is this is. By the way, I'm 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 not telling you guys anything you don't know. Um, I'm here to remind you of the things that you should be doing that you may have forgotten. Okay, that you may not be doing. And one thing that I do, guys, um, I'm not smarter than anybody else. Never have claimed to be. <laughs> Uh, but I'm consistent. And so uh, it's critical to be consistent in your lead generation time. If you will lead generate every day from nine to 11 or from nine to 12, every single day, if you'll do that, um, you will see miracles happen in your business. So let's look at this timeline. This, this, we call this a pipeline, right? Pipeline. So let's say, for example, in our pipeline, Sorry, I gotta have things right. Oops. Um, we so we've got prospects coming in, and we've got closings. Okay, so we close them over here, and we 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 bring them in as prospects over here. Okay, but what happens in the middle? So we have a prospect. Okay, that comes in. And then, so, so we generate the lead, and then we convert the lead, okay? But remember, I always teach you guys that the magic really happens in the middle. I know I'm kind of, yeah, you can see that. So we generate a lead, we convert a lead. But really, we've got a capture, and then we've got an incubate. Okay, take notes, guys. I'm your coach. I'm coaching you right now. 
So it, you can't see that. You may not be able to see that in the, in the tiny print that it is, but you generate a lead, you capture the lead, you incubate the lead, and then you convert the lead. So I'll show you how that works in my coaching business. Lewis knows about this. So we generate the lead. We say, hey, uh, we've got Quantum 10X Coaching. If you need a one-on-one -on -one coach, Nolly Williams and his team of coaches can coach you to your greatness. And when we say that, people go to our website. They fill out an application to coach with us, and we just generate a lead. <laughs> okay, so – but we haven't converted that person to work with us. How do we do that? Well, we have to capture the lead. The way we do that, we generated the interest. And then they, they fill out an application. So we capture the lead. Then we've got to incubate the lead because not everybody that fills out the application is ready to coach right now. They might say, hey, I've got six months left on my current coaching contract or I don't have the money right now to do it uh, or whatever the case might be. They've got some reason why they either they can start right away or they can't. So the ones that can't or are not ready or willing to start right now, we've got to incubate them. That means we've got to make, we've got to follow up with them and all that. And then at some point we convert them, okay, um, or not, right? But hopefully we'll get them converted. Now, when you've got a pipeline, you've got all manner of people in your pipeline. So you've got people that are, um, these are basically warm. Warm and hot, okay? Because if they're cold, they haven't even entered into your pipeline. Now, in the real estate business, Donna, I'm going to tell you since you're in real estate, and any really almost any business, actually, uh, when you bring deals in, you bring them in, you bring them in, you've got to know what your numbers are. So, for example, when I was active in the real estate business, I knew that I had to have uh, anywhere – at the, at the beginning, I had to have 18 listings. At, 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 at any time, I had to have 18 listings, okay? So I see that's cutting off for you guys, but I had to have 18, 18 deals going on. Those could either be active, pending, or uh, under contract, you know, pending, under contract, active. Uh, at, at, they're at some stage, okay? So I knew that if, if, um, if I closed one, Okay, and I'm down to 16 deals, or I've got 16, I've got to get two more. So I always had to have an inventory. It's called an inventory of 18. Now, eventually that number grew. I mean, at one point we had over 120 some listings at one time, right? And that was nuts, but we had a whole team uh, working, working my listing inventory. But uh, the point is, you might have them starting over here and they're spitting them out over here, which is a closing table. That's where you, where you get a paycheck, okay? And this might be a 60 to 90 day process, depending on your market. It could be a 30 to 60 day process. Now, when I was in the music business, and I'm taking a little bit of time with this because it's very important. You know, those of you that are in feast or famine, I'm trying to help you to get out of that mode. Um, when I was in the music business, we had a nine month lag from the time that we put an artist in the studio to the time we got a paycheck. It took nine months, nine months, <laughs> nine months. So I had to make an investment over here and nine months later, I got a return on my investment over here. And guess what? Most of them, I didn't even recruit my investment, right? So that was probably, you know, seven to eight out of 10, we didn't even make our money back. But on the 20%, we did. That's the music business to this day, by the way. So we knew that when we spent money here, it took us nine months to get the money back. So when you, you can imagine how thrilled I was when I got into real estate and they told me it would only take me three months to get paid on a deal or, or sometimes in two months. I was like, wow, that's a quick paycheck. But some of you guys don't think it's that fast. You know, when you're in the listing business, because I, I, I focus on listings. It takes about a good 30 to 90 days, you know, to get that, to, to get, to get your money. Um, and so in order for, for you to succeed at that, you've got to have a freezer full of food. Like in order to make it through the winter, you got to have your wood cut and your freezer stocked. And what that means is you have to have, you got to know what your number is on how many deals you have to have in the pipeline 
so that you're always churning out business. You're always having closings, always having closings, always getting paychecks. Okay, whether you're a coach, whether you're a speaker, a trainer, an author, it doesn't matter. Now, um, one, one thing I used to ask my coaching students, and I still ask them, is because uh, a lot of people complain about how long it takes to get paid in their particular business. And I, I'll ask them, like, how many of you had a cup of coffee this morning, right? See the hands raise up, right? Or how many of you had a glass of orange juice this morning? So here's a question. How long did it take from the time the orange was picked to the time it hit your glass? You know, if you buy that orange, you know, the orange juice from Concentrate, some of you don't know that it takes sometimes a year before it actually hits your glass. You know, go do the research on it. Now, a coffee bean, from the time the coffee bean was, was picked to the time it hits your cup, how long does it take? Who knows? I, I don't even know the answer to that question, but who cares? As long as you can get hot coffee every morning and orange juice every morning, you can go to your refrigerator and it, who cares how long it took? And that's what a pipeline is. There's a pipeline. When you create a pipeline in your business, you, it's basically this whole philosophy that I know that I've got to have X number in order to every single week be getting a paycheck. Every single week be getting a paycheck. And the way you do this, guys, is, is with the activities that are in your business. It's called lead generation. Um, the rest of this I'm not going to go over in detail because I don't want to spend up the rest of our time together. I've got some more questions to get to. But there's mindset, activities, people. got to surround yourself, yourself with the right people. you got to have the right systems in place, the right tools. You got to have your money mind. Your money piece has to be right as well. Some of you just don't have your money piece straight, and that's a big problem. You know, in order to, uh, some of you want to live the life that I live, which is basically I, I, I do what I want to do whenever I want to do it, and that's what I'm here to teach you is how to do that. You know, you got to have income coming in all the time, and you got to be debt free. Okay, that's the only way you can live a life where you don't have to. You don't have to be up at night worrying about anything, okay? You have no debt, and you got money coming in every day. <laughs> you know, if you got that rocking, and, I, and I'm teaching you guys how to do that in, in the Next Level Insider Club. Uh, accountability is so important, super important. That's what we provide at Quantum 10X. And training is super important. That's what we provide right here at Next Level Insider Club. So if you got off all eight of these, and the other thing that Donna alluded to, she said she's a uh, physical, emotional, and mental uh, wreck. That's the word she used. Um, you got to remember, guys, and you can write me on this. If you have questions about this, you know, uh, send me a, a, uh, an email or just post it right here in the Facebook group. You, ha you have a mental body. You have an emotional body. You have a physical body. And you also have a spiritual body. You have four bodies. And I see so many people that are there. You know, they might be spiritually successful, but physically, man, they need help. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that physically they're, 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 they're a wreck, uh, as Donna used. And if you're physically not in the right condition, how are you going to be able to completely do the will of God here on the earth? You can't, right? Um, if you're mentally a wreck, you really can't do it. I, I realize that mental disease is a real thing. Uh, I've got family members that are bipolar. Uh, we dealt with my mother-in-law. Uh, who was uh, had Alzheimer's? Okay, she was bipolar for many many years before that. So you know, I understand that that the mental side of it. And and by the way, there's a lot of stuff going on that's making us this way. We've been dumbed down. We've been lied to. Um, it's in our food. It's in our. They say it must be something in the water. <laughs> I guarantee you, it's in the food. It's in the water. It's in. It's on TV. We have been mentally assaulted into lies, lies, and lies. So it's not really necessarily your fault, okay? But we've, we've been subjected to a lot of negativity, guys. Uh, the standard American diet, the SAD diet, is it, killing us. Um, our emotional body, again, uh, is another thing that, and one of my favorite books, I just posted about it, uh, for the emotional body is this one right here. It's called Letting Go, okay? The, the Pathway to Surrender. This is by David Hawkins, uh, PhD, and uh, I love that book. So uh, 
So anyway, we'll, we'll be talking more about this. This is the backbone of everything that I teach, and I've got a whole video uh, training on at the Next Level Insiders Club dashboard. But you got guys, I don't want you to be in feast or famine. I never want you to be there. It's not a happy place. I'll tell you, one of the reasons, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this uh, on this question. One of the reasons that you guys are in feast and famine or famine is that you, and the one of the reasons you live there is because you like the high that you're getting from it. Yeah. I want you to think about that for a minute. Ask yourself, do I like the high that I'm getting from being in feast or famine, fight or flight mode? A lot of times, um, the reality is that you get a high, you get a rush out of, uh, hey, my, my rent's due next week or my mortgage is due next week. I got to hustle. I got to grind. I got to get it. I got to get get that, get that, get that. And uh, and you go through this big, 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 you know, and then bang, you, you make it happen at the 11th hour. The day before it's due, you get that in and bang. That, that's, a, that's, a, a, that's an addiction. That's an addictive uh, a mindset, an addictive cycle. And many people are addicted to the game. They're addicted to the rush. They're addicted to the hustle. They're addicted to the drive. They're addicted to, the, to that whole thing. And so the reason why a lot of people, a lot of my students stay in feast or famine, fight or flight, is because they're addicted to that. They like the rush. They like the way it feels. And they don't, they don't consciously love it, but subconsciously they get a high out of it. And so what I'm telling you is, you got to get a high off of doing God's work on the earth, out of doing God's will, not out of being in, in, in poverty or, or feast or famine. <laughs> you don't want to get a high off that. So it's okay to get, 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 a, get a rush now, but you got to get a rush off the right stuff. Okay, so, hey, I made a little rhyme there, hey? Getting pretty good. All right, so I got, I got three more questions to get to, and I'm going to let you guys run. Um, oh, I... I uh, one thing I wanted to mention was a, a, a friend of mine, and we'll be keeping him in prayer. Uh, my buddy Mark, uh, Mark Lyons, uh, lost his father yesterday. Yeah, he did. And uh, I mean, I remember when I lost my dad. He was he was only forty nine years old, and uh, it, it's tough, man. It's 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 real tough to lose a family member. I tell you, it's tough. And so, uh, but one of the things that Mark told me, he said, you know, Nolly. Um, I never like to show my, my, and, and this guy's a serious, he's a client of mine. And he, he, you know, sold several houses for him and he actually lost his wife to cancer. A uh, very young age, she was in her forties. Um, so he's had, he's had it, he's had it. Um, but he said, you know, and he's a real um, serious type person, right? You know, I, I, I'm the opposite. Like I'm, I'm a goofy dude. You know, when you get to know me, I'm a, I'm a, a nerd, you know? But I like to clown. I like to have fun, stuff like that. I'm an introvert naturally, uh, but I, I don't like this. I don't like to claim that I'm an introvert. I remember one time I was at a, at an event with my buddy Artemis, <laughs> and Artemis can see right through you. Yeah, you know, he's one of the coaches here at Next Level Insider Club. He can see right through you. And I was, he, they were talking about introverts, and. Um, he started pointing at me, and I was like, "Man, I'm not no introvert. I'm outgoing. I love people, you know." And he was like, okay. <laughs> but I got to thinking about it later and I said, you know, I am an introvert. Um, but God has called me to, to teach. And, and so I do what I got to do. But, but I am just like you. I mean, I, I'm afraid to get on camera. I don't like being on stage. But I do it because it's what, I, what I've been called to do. So I step up my game to do that, right? Um, but, he was, but Mark was telling me, he says, man, you know, Nolly, I don't like showing emotion. And... Um, I'm having a hard time. And I, I told him, I said, you know, Mark, and this is what I'm going to share with you. Um, don't be afraid to show emotion, guys. Don't be afraid, and gals, don't be afraid to show emotion. You know, back in the old days, and this is a, this is a forgotten art. Back in the old days, what the, uh, what the elders would do in the village is when somebody died, they would wail. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Have you ever weeped? Have you ever sobbed? I can't say that I've ever done it. I, I, I might have done it a few times, but it's not a common thing in our culture. We, especially as men, you know, women as well, but it, in our culture, we, we tend to suppress our emotion. And um, 
it's good to have a good cry. So what the women would do and still do in some cultures is they wail. I mean, they weep out loud. They weep to the, to the, the height of their lungs and they get a, they get a good cry. They get it out of their system. And then they, uh, they're, they're good. Like, I mean, they, they, and if you go back in the, and read the old Testament, you actually read where it talks about that you could hear wailing throughout the whole city. Like everybody was, when there was, a, you know, a, a massacre or whatever, people were wailing at the top of their lungs. Um, but what they were doing was they were releasing the emotion. What we tend to do in our Western culture is we tend to suppress our emotion. And so it comes out in other ways. Make no mistake about it. It's got to be released. A lot of times it's released in medical conditions. They're finding that out. Do some research on that. So um, anyway, that I just want to share that with you because um, I think it might help some body uh, that's listening. It might help you. Uh, there's two more things. Two more things that I want to share. One's from Tom Tomlinson, and Tom says, "Not only when I first got my license around 18 months ago, uh, I watched just one of your videos. Uh, I have since since watched all of them, uh, but I but I still believe that that was the one that, that uh, where you gave me the most valuable lesson that I have ever received. Listen to this guy. This is this is this is powerful stuff. He said." uh, Tom says, uh, uh, Troy, Troy Tomlinson, he says, I did four years of college and I got an accounting degree and was a high school college level teacher for a brief stint. But yet in all of that, this was the most important lesson he learned. Okay. Uh, That lesson was be a celebrity. Be a celebrity. Now, I've got a lot of teaching that's coming to you guys on this topic. Uh, So I'm not going to get into it today, but um, he says people share my name that I have never even done a a deal with because I make it a point to answer every question from every person that comes my way. People know me. They promote me because they like me and my enthusiasm. So thank you so much for that lesson that I spent six years and $60,000 elsewhere uh, looking to find. So here's Troy. He says he spent $60,000 and six years of schooling, and he never learned this. And this is what we teach right here in the Next Level Insiders Club. So um, anyway, I just I had to share that with you because it is so important. Um, man, many of my students just, just lose how important it is to become the celebrity. You know, you got to become famous, guys. And I'm going to teach you how to do that here. Uh, I'm teaching you how to do that in our ongoing time together. Uh, but if I could get you, if I could give you one thing, like you could do one thing and one thing only, what would that one thing be? It's to be well known, at least in the areas that you serve. You should, don't. I don't want you to be a secret agent. <laughs> I don't want you to be a secret uh, author, a secret trainer, or a secret coach, or or whatever you're. You know, an entrepreneur. Don't keep what you do secret. Um, you should be famous. And there's a, there's a skill to doing that. But thank you, Troy, for reminding me as well, and all of us, how important that is. Okay, and then our last question for the day, it comes in from Crystal uh, Bell. She says, uh, hi, Mr. Williams. Thank you for making these tools affordable for me. I'm 55 and I'm disabled. So I retired early and have a fixed income SSI. Uh, I have a background in sales, life insurance, as well as advertising in print, uh, and some skills in graphic art and fine art illustration. Now, by the way, um, many of my students, many of you are young, you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, but many of you are in your 50s, 60s, and some in the 70s, okay, and on up. Uh, I've got some students that have been in real estate for over 40 years. So don't think, Crystal, that 55 is old, right? and you're not saying that, but but um, but yeah, a lot of times people think, man, I'm I'm already in my I'm I'm past fifty, you know, and, you know, big deal, right? If you if if you take care of your physical body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, and your mental body, you know, you can be eighty years old and still doing what you love to do. Ninety years old, she says. Yet our job markets have changed, and I'm not a techie or whatever the term is. So I've been looking for alternative income opportunities, 
but had not been able to put the investment start uh, startup in my budget. However, thanks to you and your persistent kindness, I have something to look forward to. So um, thank you, Crystal, for bringing that up because one of the things that I'm gonna continue to teach you guys here at the Next Level Insiders Club is how to have multiple streams of income. I absolutely uh, believe it. By the way, look at this, guys. Um, look at our clock. See that? Um, we're already at 55 minutes, and this is an hourglass. It's a real hourglass. So it should <laughs> it should run out right in an hour. We'll see. We'll see if it how it holds up. But this is what's keeping me on track here, keeping me on, on my time. Um, you know, an hour, I realize that an hour is a long time to sit down with you guys, but you know, you're paying me to 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 coach you to your greatness. So anyway, so what, what Crystal is alluding to is my promise to coach you guys on how to create what we call multiple streams of income. Let me show you what, what I mean by that. Right here. Uh, let me see here. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna pull up, you guys can't see this, but I'm gonna pull up a PowerPoint, one of my favorite. Uh, it's called the cash flow quadrant. It's like this. Um, it goes like this, E-P-S-I, okay? Some of you have seen this before, um, if you've read any of uh, Robert Kiyosaki's work, you've seen this. It's kind of, it's something that we've known about for a long time, but he articulates it very well. So E, e is an employee. Okay, write this down. Make, make a diagram of this. Very important. So E is an employee. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a B, not P. B is a business owner. Okay. S is self-employed and I is an investor. Okay. So now employee is you have a job. Okay. That's cool. You know, you have a job. B is you own a system that works for you. So you're a business owner, you know, you, you own the business. So the, and I have several businesses that I own and then I have people run for me. And uh, by the way, if you've got businesses that you own and you've got people that run those businesses for you, you should be teaching those people every single thing that you know, every single thing you know. I used to be small minded back when I had the record label. And even when I was, I'm ashamed to say it, but even when I was in the um, real estate business, I didn't want to teach my agents the stuff I knew. I didn't want to teach my employees or my artists on my record label the stuff I knew because I felt like. This is the small me that was talking. I felt like that if I taught them everything I knew, they wouldn't need me anymore. <laughs> you know, that's what I actually thought. And I had a coach, uh, Mike Fleming, who really helped me along in that. He said, Nala, you're thinking real small. You need to teach your people every single thing that you know. And that's what I endeavor to do. And that's what I'm endeavoring to do with you. So you're a business owner over here. You're self-employed. And, and actually, this is the way it works. This is the way it goes. I mean, it goes like that. Okay. So you go from an, from an employee. Okay. That's where you have a job to a self-employed. That's where you own a job. You own a job to a business owner. Okay. That's where you own a system that works for you. That's a business owner to an investor. That's where the, basically the money works for you. Okay. And it's called the cash flow uh, quadrant. If you if you want to look that up, you can uh, certainly. I recommend you look it up and check it out. Another way to look at this, guys, is this way. Let me look at my time here. This is another way to look at this. So in business, every business. Uh, goes from I to we to they, okay? I is I do it, okay? That's me. You're, you're at, And some of you are at this place. You know, you are in business for yourself, and you're the only one on your team. <laughs> you're the only one on your staff, right? So that's I do it. And then we, that's when you build a team. You've got other people working with you to, to accomplish this goal. To they, that's when 
you own the business, but you've got people that run the business. So every business goes from I to we to they. And you can kind of see where you're at. The, and that, the natural course of a business jumps like this. You don't always stay at I. You don't always stay at we. But at some point, you move to they. Okay. I own a software company uh, called More, moresolds.com. I've owned that business for 11 years. Uh, it's got monthly income coming into me. And I work in that business about two hours a month. You know, if that um, I own a real estate business also that is, uh, you know, I've got agents on my team and that's a day business. Now, I also do some of that myself, too, because I have friends and family that I do business with. Uh, I have a training business as well. My training business is definitely in the we stage because I've got a team, you know, Lewis. I've got Artemis. I've got Nicole. Uh, I've got Noemi. And um, over here, I've got my, my good, my buddy, Chris, that runs this company, uh, my software business. So again, uh, one of the things that I want to teach you guys is to have multiple streams of income, okay? Because how does, I'm going to ask you this question. How does a big business get big? Think about that for a minute while I enjoy my smoothie. How does a big business get big? Now, I learned this from my coach, Mike Fleming, who used to be uh, one of the vice presidents of Tandy Corporation, who ran Radio Shack. He was one of the vice presidents of Payless Shoes. Um, and he was his budget annually was over $1 billion, with a B, $1 billion budget. How does a big business get big? They get big by owning a lot of small businesses. OK, that's how big businesses get big. Go research any big business and you'll see that they really own a lot of little businesses. And that's how they get big the way they are. Now, the other thing I want to mention to you guys. Um, uh, there was one other thing I want to mention. Let me see if I can remember it. Uh, I don't want to leave you in suspense. Maybe we'll have to table it for next time because the it's not coming to mind. So, hey, maybe it wasn't meant to be. Let's look at our timer. Ooh. What's up? We're at the one hour mark and we're out of sand, y'all. We're out of sand. So um, just remember, if you've got questions for me, I love you and I'm here to serve you. <laughs> I don't, I'm just not, it's not lip service. You guys, have, if you've seen me live, you know how I am. I'm a hugger. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I'm here for your success. You know, this is what I was made to do is what I meant to do. So if you've got a question, be sure to post the question. I'm going to get to it in a future session uh, of the Next Level, Level Insiders Club live. All right. Hey, I love you, and I'll see you next time, baby.